It is not a sport and not a martial art. Kebab is a great mean of self-defense. It takes what works and makes it work harder. Kebab is a unique combat system that enables the warrior to overcome any kind of fighting and prepares him to almost any possible situation. If we are not teaching philosophy, we teach how to save your life. It, is. it started toward the end of Ottoman Turk rule in Palestine. The Jewish settlers started developing a simple self-defense system made up of simple elements. They learned combat methods from British soldiers who were still fighting the Turks. British training including boxing, judo, wrestling and other fighting systems that the British soldiers had learned during the reign of the British Empire. Well, Kaban is a military system. How to fight? How to fight in the street? How to fight at home? Fight everywhere you need. Trainees added fighting with a walking stick, shovel stick, knife and pyre. They call this style of fighting kebab, which means face to face combat. My name is Moshe Galisco and I am the one in the Kebab system. I start to learn Kebab when I was five years old. My father, uh, Habib, uh, he passed away in 2005. And he teach me all the system. <clears throat> he was the founder of the, our organization, the ITUN International Kebab Association, and we are teaching today in 22 countries all over the world. Training kebab or any self-defense system is very important to keep yourself and the people you love safe. The world can be a very dangerous place, so self-defense is very important to learn especially for women, kids and old people. Since we are all different in our size, strength and speed, maybe you learn some skills that can save you or the people with you. Kebab started in 1922, 1924. 1922, 1924. Yeah. Not with my father. Yeah. Because they call this kebab, but was the Israeli resistance against the Turkish town. Yeah. That time started. And they know some boxing, some few stores, of how to hold it, a uh, baton, uh, uh, the baton came from the tree. Take something from the tree, orange tree, yeah. and they fight with them. And my father, 
build their system and he showed like uh, he was the butler, the British uh, sergeant mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, the Jerusalem <coughs> police. And he learned from a few systems. That sergeant was a sergeant in India, also there. In India. In the, in the, yes. the Empire was different. He learned a few systems. Mm -hmm. When he came to Jerusalem as a, as his duty, and he teach my father few uh, techniques, and so my father built all the other system from there. Our kebab IQA is coming from my father's uh, system, and I took from his system and we built it and make it, we promoted the system more and more, and we made it for this violence. Until today, we are changing, yeah. and we are creating something new all, uh, uh, all over. We are killed, attacked. We could, but because it's a military system, you have to wear this pyramid. If I hit you here, I break my fingers. So if you have a helmet, I can't have hit you on the head because I have a helmet. So I have to hit on your face, your neck, your arms, okay, your legs, your groin. My father said always like this: maximum damage. For minimum time, for minimum risk. You have this is what you have to do. Maximum damage. Maximum damage on minimum time on minimum, on minimum risk. Time on minimum risk. Learn Kappa, be happy, mm -hmm. and enjoy your life, and try not to come to conflict with anyone. If somebody comes to attack, take your leg, give them your back, and run away home. Say, that's better. Don't say, I'm strong, I can fight. No, leave it. But if you don't have choice, you have to fight. You have to fight for your life. Yes.